Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've not actually done before on the channel. Uh, if you recognise, I'm actually on YouTube right now, this is a video on YouTube. Uh, you may recognise it, it is a video I just released a couple of days ago called, uh, well I can't remember the exact, oh yeah it's right up there, the, the Atmospheric Minecraft, which was a showcase of how atmospheric a single scene could be in Minecraft. So all the visuals and all the sounds that you can hear right now, other than my stupid voice, are of course in game. And the sounds themselves, the actual sound effects, are from a mod called Matmos. And today, on this video, I have received a comment from Mud808 asking if I could make a quick video on how to install the Matmos mod so that it can be working and you too can also enjoy all of these wonderful sounds that you can hear. So that is what this video is going to be all about today. It shouldn't take too long, it's actually very easy to install. So if that's what you're interested in, then let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so in order to install Matmos, we're going to need several things. The first thing is Matmos itself, and we're also going to need this MS MSI conversion pack, which I will of course link to both. Uh, I will cover what these are as and when we get to them. So the first thing we're going to do then is go to the Matmos website, which is minecraft.ha3.eu. Obviously I'll put links in the description, and then we're going to click on Matmos. You want to go on to download, and then click on this download button here, the download R8, and then download again, and that will give you Matmos, which is a light loader uh, or a light loader mod. Um, I'm going to install using uh, MultiMC as I always do because it's brilliant. So I'm just going to go and throw together a new instance to demonstrate, which I'm going to call Matmos, and it is version 1.7.10 because that is currently my preferred version, and that is what the mod works with. So I'm going to hit OK, and there is Matmos. And one of the main reasons I enjoy uh, MultiMC is because I can just click here to install Light Loader, recommended version, and bang, we are done. Simple as that. I'm just going to load this to make sure that it's generated all of the uh, the folders and stuff, including the mods folder. We can see that the uh, Light Loader is indeed installed by looking here. There we go, Light Loader. So I'm just going to adjust the sounds real quick, so we don't want music on. Oh, there we go, just started. And I'll bang the sounds down as well, as this is a sounds mod, I don't want them to blare out over the top of me. And let's just go on to Peaceful real quick. And we should be good. Okay. So, I don't need to do anything more. I don't need to close this either. Actually, yes, I... Yep, yeah, I do, actually. It's after that that we don't need to. Um, so, I'm going to come back out, go to the Instance folder, Minecraft, and Mods. And you'll see that it's generated this 1.7.10 folder. Now, that's where you can put your light loader... Uh, mods. See, so it comes in a 1.7.10 folder itself, and I'm going to drag in the light mod there. That's it. We're done with that. You can go away. Wait, what? What? Go away. Yeah, go away. Right, okay. So we now have the Matmos mod inside our 1.7.10 folder inside the mods folder. That's where it will be loaded from. And now all I'm going to do is play again just to make sure that this is loaded. Okay, if I go back up here, we can see that one mod is loaded. Clicking on it will reveal that Matmos is installed and it is indeed active. However, you won't get any sound yet, and this is probably the bit where most people go wrong and think it doesn't work. So I'm just going to quickly generate a new world just to show that there isn't any sounds. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Shouldn't do, it's a clean install. And you'll see it says resource pack missing and this is because Matmos is actually quite an old mod I remember using it as far back as 1.4.5 ish kind of around the area I remember it being a 1.4 1.5 ish area and you have to think about back then we were using texture packs well now we have resource packs which have sounds so all of the sounds for Matmos are now in a resource pack but it's a bit of a pain to find this resource pack however I have found one and I will of course give you the link to it so I'm just going to open up our resource packs just here let me just minimize you and it is of course the MSI conversion pack which is uh, somebody converted the old ones into the new or something like that and we just want to throw that into our resource packs and then I might just copies it go away and it will now appear in here as soon as I open this back up again and as soon as I load it we should hear some sound and done and there we go the sounds will start playing there we are we can hear birds. If I get close to the water here, we should eventually hear the ocean because it is a beach. There it is. There we go, some nice wavy sounds. If I get really high up, 
into the sky, we should start to hear the wind. It should get louder the higher I go. Everything takes a few seconds. Wow, that's loud. There we go, we can now hear the wind. So the, the sounds take a you know, roughly roughly four to seven seconds to sort of change but what this mod does it basically scans the area around you so right now it's scanning me and saying oh there's nothing around uh, i'm at altitude 137 yeah this this very definitely windy up here and another cool thing is if i just drop out the sky <laughs> he even screams and that's it that is all it takes to install this mod it's fantastic i will quickly say however um, if you press F7, you will of course get all of these sound controls and various other bits and pieces, and that is really loud. You know, let me just go ahead and casually drop the sound using this nice little interface here. Um, that should take a moment to sort of change, there we go, global volume 30. And you can do that by simply holding F7 and looking up and down. So that's how you use the mod, that's how you install the mod, and I hope this has been helpful, and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Actually guys, just one more thing before I head off. As this is a short video, I thought I'd take a moment to do some uh, shameless self-promotion. Uh, as you can see up here on my channel, I am indeed on several social media platforms, including Google+, which I don't really like. Let's face it, who does? Uh, Twitter, which for some reason the icon's not loading in, to Votable, which is a fantastic community for Minecraft over there. Um, I love it. It's very good. It's a great way to get some new people to come and view your videos. Many of you yourselves have come from there. It's a fantastic community. And since yesterday, I'm also now on Facebook. And I only have one like. And I'm feeling very lonely over here. But I do like using Facebook. And I do post random stuff. For instance, if you look here, uh, somebody actually stole my video, my Whetstone mod video, and uploaded it. So I reported them. And they were taken down for copyright claim. So uh, yeah, I just said I was feeling amused. Uh, there's also um, a TP that I made a couple of days ago. And which I might turn into a tutorial, depends if people enjoy it. So I do post things on social media, so by all means, feel free to follow me on any of them to stay in touch and see what I'm up to. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, Mud, and I hope you uh, get the mod installed and it's been useful to you. And thanks to everyone else who's watching, I, sh I shall see you in the next video.